Yeah, I broke it out between the dogs. Good girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, we're all tangled up here. Hey. Hey. Oh, thank you. Oh, and you got the cavalier. I have a blend of cavalier. Of course, my dog. I'm paying tribute to you. All right. All right. It's great to see. It's great to see uh, so many dogs here and that they also brought their humans with them. I was unaware that the FDA actually required that uh, animal testing being done. I knew animal testing was done. But I was unaware until the last couple of months that it was actually required by the FDA to do animal testing before you got to human testing. And look, I've been involved in medicine, I've been involved in science, I've been around the testing world. I think sensibilities change over time. When I was in medical school, they were just, I think at the point where they were no longer doing chimpanzee research. We decided they were too close to humans for comfort and people's sensibilities changed and we don't do it. And there were some horrific things done. I think a lot of people feel their dogs and cats are close to humans as well. And so anything we can do to make it easier to find alternatives. Our bill doesn't forbid it, but our bill goes a long way towards allowing it to change. There are scientists who now believe that they can find other ways. There are scientists who believe, frankly, that the animal testing isn't very accurate in, in the way it tests is for safety or efficacy. So we're excited to introduce this bill today. It has bipartisan support in the House and it has bipartisan support in the Senate. I think there's a reasonable chance that we might find something that we could actually pass through a bipartisan, maybe even a unanimous bill, but we're gonna try. And today we have uh, a couple senators here, and I'm gonna introduce Senator Mike Braun from Indiana. Thank you, Rand. Uh, it was easy for me to uh, be able to get on to this bill because it's not only talking about what isn't really working, uh, there are over 100 million animals, I think, used each year, and the efficacy rate is so low. Uh, we need to do something different. In the time I've been in the Senate, he's talking about the medical side of it. I'm going to look at the logistics side of trying to get things done in a more practical way. I've got a bill out there called the Promising Pathways Act that, again, tries to get the FDA to get a little more entrepreneurial, a little more nimble. This is for diseases like ALS and other uh, diseases that don't have therapies that are working and where patients want to do it. And then you've got an FDA that is being clumsy and slow and sticking to the way you did it in the past. This is a great example of where the whole system needs to be fixed uh, from transparency and competition. But here are animal friends being used in a way where you're not producing a good result that's the essence of this bill. And some things here, like Rand said, ought to make it across the finish line easily because they're just great ideas on their own merit. And then when they play into trying to fix a broken system, like health care is in general from top to bottom, you're going to get me on it for several reasons. So thank you for having me. Thank you for uh, bringing it up. And I'll bring John Kennedy here to tell you what he thinks about it. John? Well, good morning. Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, you know, on a, on a bad day in Washington, D.C., uh, I, 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 like, uh, I like dogs and maybe three people. Uh, on a good day in Washington, D.C., I like dogs and maybe four people. Um, and, and, and I like it. You see, I, just, I love that. Uh, th this, this bill, before I introduce Wayne, I mean, this is a very innovative bill, and it's going to bring, it's going to bring testing into the 21st century. Our, our world is changing as a result of technology, and I think there's a way that we can harness technology and, and be uh, compassionate to our fellow cohabitors of the world, our animal friends. 
Um, I've known Wayne Pacelli a long time. His actual title is President of Animal Wellness Action. But let me tell you, there's no, there's no greater animal rights activist in the Western Hemisphere. And I've seen this man, uh, um, if he thinks he's right, uh, he, he'll, he'll spit in anybody's eye if he has to. And I've seen him do, do it to some very powerful people. And I've seen him win some really tough fights, particularly in Louisiana. And, and I really respect him for that. Uh, so uh, thank you all for, for coming. Um, I'm proud to be here. I just lost my beagle about a year ago, Roger. Uh, he was, uh, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't remember the last time before that that I cried, but I, I cried for old Roger. He, uh, uh, he, was a, he was an independent rascal. I don't know which, whether you know about, what you know about beagles, but they're type A's. They like to, they like to uh, he, Roger liked to run off, and we lived near some woods, and he would go run off for three days. You know, you're worried to death about him. He was a stray. He was a rabbit dog that got lost on a scent and came to our house, and uh, we, we took him in, and uh, he was a hunter, and he didn't know what to do with it when he found it, but he was a hunter, and he would go out, and he would, to mask his scent, he would roll in cow manure. And then he'd hunt for three days and come home. And I miss, I miss Roger every single day. But anyway, not to digress. Wayne Pacelli, a fine American. So again, thank you. I'm, I'm Wayne Pacelli, as Senator Kennedy said. What a nice set of comments, Senator Kennedy. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'm president of Animal Wellness Action. My colleague, Marty Irby, is here, our executive director. There are a number of other organizations represented backing this legislation led by Senator Paul. Senator Paul, we're so appreciative of your leadership on this issue. Senator Braun, thank you. Senator Kennedy, Senator Kennedy is a leader on multiple animal welfare issues. And then we're especially excited that these three Republicans are joining with Senator Booker and Senator Lujan. Uh, and as Senator Paul said, you know, in a nation where there's so much coverage about division we have so much unity on this issue. This is a core American value to oppose cruelty to animals. Uh, it is just a sign of our mercy and decency to care for the least among us in our society. Senator Kennedy helped us outlaw cockfighting in Louisiana. It was the 50th state. He stood up tall Hell of a fight. on that issue. Uh, we as a nation have moved forward on so many animal welfare issues and this animal testing, animal research debate has been going on a long time. In the 1980s, it was very polarized. Scientists said that they were concerned about the continued need for animals in, in science and testing and research, and animal advocates said there's got to be a different way. And that polarity wasn't good. It didn't lead to a lot of progress, but ultimately it did lead to a basic framework agreement, which is the three R's. The research community, the testing community have accepted the notion that we need to refine techniques to minimize pain and distress, to reduce the number of animals and protocols when we can, say from 20 animals to 10, and where available and where the methods are validated to replace animals with non-animal technologies. We saw the debate about cosmetic testing. Now when you buy cosmetics and other household products, you see a little symbol on the product that says no animal testing. That validates the idea that we as a nation recognize that when you can use an alternative, you should. In 2016, this Congress unanimously passed TSCA reform, the Toxic Substance Control Act. And Senator Booker was very instrumental in adding a provision to say that if you're going to use animal testing, it should be a last resort. It shouldn't be your first instinct. Now, thanks to Senator Paul's leadership and Senator Braun and Kennedy and Booker and Lujan, now we're addressing one of the most ossified areas of statute when it comes to testing requirements. In 1938, a Depression-era statute, animal testing was the only way that things were done. Now we're saying we're simply lifting the requirement that you must use animals in every circumstance and allowing innovation to flourish 
and to allow this combination of good business and morality to drive change in society. The existing framework is broken. 19 of 20 times when a drug passes muster in animal tests, it fails in human clinical trials. I mean, that is a disastrous rate of failure. Senator Paul's bill does not ban animal testing. It simply says we should be using the best science. And that is why this is a bipartisan bill. I'm very confident it's going to pass. We've got a great coalition, animal welfare groups across the spectrum, the Center for Contemporary Sciences, people for the ethical treatment of animals, uh, scientists from Johns Hopkins, Dr. Locke is here. So many other leaders across the country are so excited about this bill. So to all of you senators, I thank you so much. Um, do we have any questions? I'm going to keep Wayne up here because he's an expert in all the details if we have any questions, but either about the politics or about uh, how we get it passed or about the details of it. All right, I guess you're just going to get great pictures of us with the puppies now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Y'all talk to Schumer. Get him to bring the bill That's to the floor. Right. That's right. <laughs> you want to try to do some group still, group. Yeah, still pictures? Yeah, let's do a May group photo. Um, kind of squeeze together here, somehow. And, uh, and maybe see if we can get the dogs in front. We'll do that. And then for any of the press covering, we're going to put a press release out like later today with quotes from all of the post I really like uh, you. And we'll have the legislation for you as well. Okay. You fit right in in the center. There you go. Get in front. All right. All right. Good, good. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. All good. Where's Jefferson? Right here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Nice All right. There we go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Everybody gets the rest of the day off just to enjoy your dog. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my